This is the first video in the series where we are going to take a look at bringing in your DAS 3D character into Unreal Engine 5. This video is going to focus specifically on Magic Bone Tools, which is a Blender add-on. It is not free. It is actually, at least to me, it is fairly expensive. I believe I paid around 80 bucks, but you can get that on sale. Basically, the process is going to go like this. We're going to take our DAS 3D character. We're going to export that using DAS to Blender. Then we're going to go to Blender and we're going to use that magic bone tools and we're going to convert that into a unreal engine 5 skeleton then we're going to move over to unreal engine 5 and we're going to import that and we're pretty much done now as you can see on your screen we have a fairly simple daz 3d or daz studio genesis 8 male model now once you have your your figure you're going to go up to file go over to send to and choose send to blender now make sure you have the daz to blender plugin if you don't have that installed be sure to have that installed as you can see I'm using DAS to Blender Bridge 2023 version 1.0. Name asset, I'm going to keep that Genesis 8 male for the skeleton, asset type skeleton. Morphs, if you need, if you have morphs, you can put that in. And I'm just going to click accept here. Now we're going to move over to Blender. In Blender, go over to the tabs on the right side and click DAS to Blender and click import Genesis figure. Once that is loaded, we're going to move over to Magic Bone Tools tab. Let's extend this out. First thing that we're going to do in Blender is we're going to select this armature, click set armature. Next thing that we're going to do is choose rig type and choose Genesis 8. If you obviously if you're using Genesis 9, you want to choose Genesis 9. After that, we want to populate these bone fields. You could do that just by clicking fill. And as you can see, that's that's been populated. Next thing that we're going to do is set up the scale. So go up to at, at the top where it says set character scale to UE5. Click that, click OK. And what you want to do is click the S button to scale or activate your scale tool and let's just scale this up and try to get that the, the character's feet as close to the to the X line or the red line as close as possible. Now that's set. Click create UE5 rig. OK, so we have our UE5 rig. The next thing that we're going to do is select. We're going to select everything. We're going to go to file, export this as an FBX file. And for the settings, we're going to choose select objects, armature and mesh, armature only deform bones, and I believe that's pretty much it. Click export and be sure that you select all of the clothing. Now we're going to move over to Unreal Engine and we're going to import this character or new character. Now in this dialog box, we're going to click skeleton and choose the Unreal Engine skeleton. Click import all. Now once this is imported, just realize that the textures, they're not going to come over. So this model is going to be blank, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Now that we have our model imported, we're going to open up our skeleton. And as you can see, that is our Genesis eight skeleton next we're going to go over and click this gear and show retargeting options and we're going to right click the pelvis and choose uh, reclusive set translation targeted skeleton and that's going to change pretty much all of these beneath to skeleton and then we're going to click the pelvis again and change that to animation now that that's complete we're going to head over to our blueprint and open up our third person blueprint class choose the mesh and we're going to switch this over to our Genesis 8 male figure. And as you can see, that has transferred over. Compile this. And now we have our figure. Now, again, as you can see, you're going to have to redo the materials. Now you can see we have our Genesis 8 male figure. 